had a good corn crop this year. This is the first time that I've grown corn this thick, but this was actually a University of Tennessee recommendation for a small garden, and it really turned out well. We had very few problems. I think the only insect problem that I've been able to spot is uh, maybe some borer damage, probably the European corn borer right there clearly bored into the stalk of the plant and it fell over, but it was probably after the corn was ready. We had a few problems with uh, poor pollination. When you see a kernel missing, like we have right here, then that means that for some reason that kernel didn't get pollinated. And to understand how that happens, to understand the corn plant, this, the, the tassel is the male structure of the plant and it produces pollen. And each one of these silks travels to a kernel and forms a kernel. And a, one piece of pollen has to get into this silk. And anything that disrupts that can result in poor pollination. And we had some really high temperatures a few weeks ago. And when the temperatures are up approaching 100, you know, upper 90s and things like that, that sometimes interferes a little bit with pollination. And that's probably what happened here. Now, we're pretty much through with this corn crop. Uh, you can compost the corn stalks if you like. You have goats or cows, they love them. You can feed them to goats or cattle. Prepare the soil. You can plant peas, butter beans, or just kind of hold off and get it ready for some of your fall vegetables if you like. Thanks for watching. We have other quick tips. Just subscribe below.